Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be an update on my Project Pan 2016. This is a selection of, of items that I picked to finish up this year. And I wanted to kind of show you and touch base with you the progress that I have made. Um, also, um, I did finish up some items, so I'm going to be adding an item in to it. And I thought I would do that periodically throughout the year as I start finish things up. Go ahead and add something into it. So anyway, let's let me show you the things that I have actually finished and quite a few actually so first I had the perfume this was the um, the Nirvana white by Elizabeth and James I did finish it it's completely empty gone and this definitely will not be a repurchase I didn't care for it anyway so I did finish that I also finished this MAC powder this is the prep and prime transparent finishing powder I finished it and uh, this will not be a repurchase I did not care for it either <clears throat> and then I finished my La Mer uh, moisturizer it is all gone and I will not be repurchasing this either uh, I just did not feel like it was worth the money it did not live up to the hype and it was not moisturizing enough for my face so those are the three things that I finished and since this was the only no there was another skincare anyway I'm replacing this item I'm going to add in this right here which is the Colleen Rothschild um, face oil number nine so I'm going to be adding this into my project pan since I finished my La Mer and I'm going to mark that so we can see, which I didn't do that on my last one. But anyway, I'm going to mark it so I will be able to show you my progress here in a few weeks or a month or so, however long I go before I do a, a um, update. Anyway, so that's that oil. I've had that for a while and I just need to, to use it before it goes bad. Okay. So the other skincare item I had was this right here. This is the Michael Todd Concentrated C Antioxidant Moisturizing Serum. Um, unfortunately, this is something that I cannot mark my progress, nor can I show you my progress, but I have been using it, and um, eh, it's all right. So I will definitely be glad when this is gone. So those were my skincare items. I had some more perfume items. One was the um, Calvin Klein Blossom, the Euphoria Blossom. And after I did the video, I went through and marked where I was starting at, and now I've marked where I'm at. And this, I have made a quite a bit of progress on it. You can see my first mark that I started was here, and now I'm down to here. So I've made quite a bit of an impact with this perfume. I'm probably will probably be done with this this week. So that will be gone. And then the other two perfumes that I had added into this um, project pan was from Trish McAvoy. One was the um, Jasmine, the pink. What is this called? Anyway, something I can't read it something pink jasmine anyway and then the blackberry number nine and I've made a little bit of progress on those I don't know if you'll be able to see um, the first mark was here and now to here so a little bit but that's okay because I was mainly concentrating on those other two perfumes because those were more what I kind of consider like a winter ish type perfume where this, these two are definitely more spring and summer because they're very fruity. Anyway, here was my beginning mark here, and here is where I'm at now on this. So next next update, you'll be seeing a lot more um, progress on these because these are what I'm getting ready to switch over to and, and, bleh, as soon as the euphoria is gone. Whew. 
get that out. All right, I had some mascaras that I had put in there, and this is the three mascaras. I have not made any progress on these because I have not started using them. I had some mascaras I had already opened, and I'll be finishing those up toward the end of March, middle of April, and then I'm going to get started on these guys. So, no progress on those, but that's okay. And then, um, let's see, I had foundations. I had added in quite a few foundations, three of them, and I've only made progress on two, and that's because those are the two that I've been concentrating on using, and this is the Bourjois, um, the number 51 and the number 52 Healthy Mix um, Foundation, and I have mixed the two because the 52 is a little bit too dark, and the 51 is actually the correct color for me, but I've just been mixing Anyway, I have marked where I started, and this is where I'm at on the 51. This one is definitely going to be empty before I do my next update. This one is going to be empty before this one. But anyway, I have that, and I really do like this foundation quite a bit. And then on the 52, um, this is where I started at, and this is where I'm at right now. So I made quite a bit of quite a dent in those because I've been concentrating on just using those instead of going back and forth back and forth I just decided just to work on one product at a time in each category that way I can get through it um, I'm not going to show you this this is the other foundations that I have put in here there was no progress on those because I did not use these yet <clears throat> um, the concealer the MAC Pro concealer. I don't like this as a concealer. I was going to use this as a foundation. So I have not made any progress on it because I did not use it as a con as a foundation yet because I was using my bourgeois. Anyway, okay, um, the healthy, not the healthy mix, the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I have been using this every day. I did not mark where I started at with this. It was pretty much almost a full bottle um, so anyway this is where I'm at now so next time I do an update I'll be able to show you what progress I had in this but I know I probably have used at least a good a good inch of it at least because I have been using it every single day and then I had um, some um, bronzers that I have put in here. One of them was this one from Sephora, the um, Los Cabos, and I've not made any progress on this because I have been concentrating on using the other bronzer first. So I've already hit pan on this, but um, hopefully next time I do an update you'll see me actually using this and be out of this one. This one is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. And when I first showed this, the um, pan here was just a complete, just one little circle, and I definitely have made it a lot wider as far as my pan there. And um, this part here has gotten thinner, so definitely making progress on this guy. I love the smell of it, though. It just smells so good. And then the powders um, that I had that I showed. Um, first is this Laura Geller. This is the Baked Elements Foundation and Fair. Um, I have not made any progress on this because I've not been using it. I decided I was going to concentrate on just one or two powders instead of you know trying to use all three at the same time. So no no progress on it. But the um, the Mac powder that I pulled which is the um, the light plus I have um, made it used to be you know, really kind of domed and my dome is starting to really flatten out and almost get into like a little like a little groove it's kind of going like that now so I've made a little bit of progress on this I was using this pretty much every day and then I stopped on it and I went to this, to this which is the Kat Von D um, powder foundation in light number 45 and when I first 
showed it the pan portion here was just a little bitty circle and I've gotten the pan is now showing a lot more so definitely making good progress on this and I do not recommend that you buy this powder because there's not hardly any product in here it goes really fast so it's not a good not a good deal on that and then I had three eyeshadows this one was the what is this the wet and wild Berlay. and then there's really not any way I could show progress on it but I know that my pan has definitely gotten bigger and the product has gotten thinner so making progress on it I haven't been using it every day but I've left it here on my vanity and I've been trying to make a point in using it then this little eyeshadow here from MAC which was the Crystal Avalanche um, I've definitely started to see some pan here on the side of this one so making progress on it the other eyeshadow that I had was another one from MAC, and this one is the Fresh Daisy. Um, I've only used this just a few times, so not a whole lot of progress on this one. Um, you can still see the Daisy imprint, so not doing as well on that one, but that's okay. Okay, the next two products I have are from our um, eyebrow products, and again, this is two products that I'm not able to measure my progress on. Um, but I had the Anastasia, the Clear Gel, and then the Gimme Brow by Benefit. I have been using those, so we are making progress. I just don't know how much of the progress I've made, so anyway. And then I had the Physician's Formula um, Eyeliners, the black and the brown. This is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster. Um, in deep brown and one is in ultra black and again I don't have any way to measure my progress on these but I was in the process of kind of cleaning out some of my um, makeup and I found another brown one so I'm adding a third <laughs> eyeliner but anyway I've been using them every day either the brown or the black I have the black on today with some eyeshadow on top of it so I have been using them um, have been neglecting my Bobbi Brown they're sad they're in my drawer crying because they have not been used but anyway so that my friends is my project pan update I um, hope you enjoyed. I really am enjoying doing this because it's making me really concentrate on using up some of these products that I've had for a while and that, you know, I need to, to use because I don't want them to go bad or to waste them. So anyway, that is it. And what I will continue to do is as I start using up more products, keep adding in products because I want this to go, you know, throughout the whole year. So anyway, that's it for today. Thanks a lot and talk to you soon. Bye.